Welcome to this practice of yoga, the practice of being present with the sensations of the body and the breath as we move through a sequence of standing postures together and remembering always to listen to the wisdom of your body to tell you how long to hold a posture and if you need to move out of a posture before I say to, then do so. Knowing that each time you do this sequence, your body may feel different. So bringing your curiosity and attention to each movement and stretch. So let's begin by standing with both feet flat on the floor. The feet are parallel and hip width apart. Softening your knees, tucking your tailbone slightly, lifting your chest and letting your shoulder blades drop down the back. The arms are relaxed alongside your body, fingertips reaching for the floor. Lifting up through the crown of the head, chin parallel to the floor. Standing in an erect, relaxed posture. This is the mountain posture and is the basis for all of our standing postures. Since your feet firmly planted on the floor and the head rising up to the ceiling. Strong and peaceful like a mountain. Taking a moment to be aware of your breath at the belly. Taking nice, long, deep breaths in and out through the nose throughout this yoga sequence. Expanding and softening the belly on the in-breath and contracting the belly on the out-breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Keeping your arms straight, Take a deep breath in as you raise your arms up to the side and then bringing your palms together overhead. And on the out breath, letting your arms come back down by your sides. Once again, taking another deep, long breath in as you raise your arms up overhead. And on the out breath, slowly lowering your arms to the side. Once more, breathing in as you raise your arms overhead. And breathing out as you lower your arms slowly, taking your time, being aware of the movement of the arms through space. And when they reach your sides, pausing in the mountain posture and centering your attention on your belly. Closing your eyes and noticing any changes that may have taken place within the body just by this short period of breathing. Next, we will move into the half moon. Begin by taking a deep breath in and raising the arms up overhead. Letting your arms be parallel to one another or you can bring the palms of your hands together. Your index fingers and the thumbs remain straight as you clasp the rest of your fingers together in the temple position. Breathing in as you reach your fingers toward the ceiling and breathing out as you move the left hip to the left and bend over to the right side so that you get a nice stretch on the left side of the body. Keeping your head between your arms, going only as far as you are comfortable and can still breathe easily. Inviting the breath to be full and deep. Now taking a deep breath in as you bring your arms up overhead, straightening out again. Taking another deep breath in as you reach your fingertips toward the ceiling, lifting out of your hips, and this time moving the right hip to the right and bending your body to the left. Gently exploring how far your body wants to move today. Watching the tendency to go too far and finding the place where you can hold the posture and still breathe easily. One more breath in, and on the out breath, bringing your arms up overhead. 
Breathing in as you reach your fingertips toward the ceiling. Breathing out as you bring your arms down to the sides. Taking your time. Noticing the wave of relief as the arms reach your sides. Closing your eyes and tuning in to the sensations that were created in the body by doing the half moon. Next, we will do some neck rolls, starting by lowering your chin to the chest, feeling the muscles in the back of the neck lengthening and relaxing. Taking a couple of deep breaths in and out. Then moving the head slowly so that the left ear is over the left shoulder. Pausing here and inviting the breath to be full and deep feeling the stretch along the right side of the neck. If you'd like, you can reach your fingertips down toward the floor to increase the stretch slightly. Now dropping the chin to the chest once more, and then moving the head so that the right ear is over the right shoulder. Inviting the breath to be deep feeling the muscles along the left side lengthening and relaxing. And if you'd like, reaching the left fingertips toward the floor. Now dropping the chin to the chest and then bringing your head back to a neutral position and come back to the awareness of standing. Remembering to use your breath as the anchor to this moment and to the body. Next, we will do a couple of shoulder shrugs by bringing both shoulders up tightly toward the ears, holding them there for a moment, and then releasing quickly and letting your shoulders drop. Once more, bringing the shoulders up to the ears, nice and tight, and then letting them drop. Now doing some shoulder rolls in the forward direction. You can break this down into four separate movements. First, raising your shoulders up to your ears as far as they'll go then squeezing your shoulders in front of your chest, then letting your shoulders just drop and relax, and finally, rolling the shoulders to the back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and then continuing to move your shoulders in a big rolling motion. Your arms are not involved in this movement, just letting them be relaxed. Breathing. Then when you're ready, moving in the opposite direction for a few times. Nice big circles with the shoulders. Nice long deep breaths in and out. Then standing still once more in the mountain posture, feeling the effects of what you've just done, noticing the sensations in your neck and shoulders as a result of blood being pumped into that area of your body. Now standing with your feet a little further than hip width apart, and your arms relaxed by your sides, knees soft, we will do the standing swinging twist. 
Moving your weight to the left foot, coming up on your right toe as you twist your torso and swing your arms to the left. Then coming back, moving your weight to the right foot, coming up on your left toe as you twist your torso and swing your arms to the right. Letting your arms flap against the body like empty coat sleeves. Moving back and forth. Gradually picking up the pace a bit. Relaxing your spine. Breathing and twisting. And then gradually slowing down until you finally come to rest once more. Pausing here. Closing your eyes and feeling the echo of the twist within the body. Next, moving into the goddess, bringing the feet about three feet apart with the feet turned out at a 45 degree angle. Taking a deep breath in and on the exhale, bending the knees and allowing the pelvis to descend directly downward without arching the low back so that the entire torso lowers, going only so far as you are comfortable bringing the arms up so that they are at shoulder height, palms up toward the ceiling. Now bending the elbows to 90 degrees, pointing the forearms and hands straight up, palms facing each other. Now inviting the breath to be full and deep, relaxing the face Relaxing everything that isn't involved in holding the posture. Holding the posture for a few breaths. Listening to your body and its wisdom about how long to hold a posture. And if you need to move out of it before I say to, do so. Together, we will take one more deep breath in and out. And then straightening the legs, lowering the arms, and coming back into the mountain posture. Feet hip width apart, and pausing here a moment. Now we will move into the side angle posture. To do the side angle, step your feet apart about three or four feet. The insides of the feet are parallel. Now turn your right foot to the right 90 degrees so that the right heel points toward the left arch. Turn your left foot in slightly to the right. Make sure that your right knee is pointing towards your right foot. Bend your right knee so that the knee is above the ankle, making sure that the knee doesn't go beyond the ankle, but that the lower leg is at a 90 degree angle with the floor. Now bringing your right forearm down to rest on the right thigh, bringing your left arm up overhead so that it is in alignment with the body. Reach out with your left fingers so that you feel the stretch along the left side of the body. Now inviting the breath to be deep. In and out. Letting the face relax.
Noticing all the muscles on the left side of the body. To move out of the posture, bringing the left arm back to parallel with the floor and reach to the left with your fingertips to pull the torso upright as you straighten the right leg. Lower your arms and moving your feet to parallel. Now switching sides, turn your left foot to the left 90 degrees so that the left heel points toward the right arch. Turn your right foot in slightly to the left. Again, making sure that your left knee is pointing toward your left foot, bending your left knee so that it is above the ankle. Bringing your left forearm down to rest on the left thigh. Bringing your right arm up so that it is in alignment with the body. Reach out with your right fingers, feeling the stretch along the right side of the body. Relaxing into the posture now and inviting in the breath. Deep breaths in and out. To move out of the posture, bringing the right arm back to parallel with the floor, reaching out with your right fingertips to pull the torso upright as you straighten the left leg. Lower your arms and come to the mountain posture. Pausing, closing the eyes and tuning into the body, noticing the breath at the belly. Now we'll move into a balancing posture called the tree. The key to balancing postures is to pick out a spot, either on the wall or on the floor in front of you, and focusing your attention on just that spot. Standing with your feet hip width apart, and first of all moving your weight over to your left foot and placing your right foot on the inside of the left leg as high as you can manage. You can put the sole of the right foot on the left ankle, or you might be able to bring it up to the calf, or above the knee and high on your thigh, taking care not to place the sole of the foot at the knee. Finding your version of the posture, wherever you can manage to put it is fine. And then as best as you can, balancing on the left leg, and bringing the palms of your hands together in front of your chest in prayer position. Staying here and breathing. Focusing your attention on that one spot in front of you. And if you feel balanced, keeping the palms of your hands together, stretching the arms up over your head, or opening your arms out into a V position. Remembering to breathe deeply down into your abdomen on each in-breath and out from the abdomen on each out-breath. Balancing here in the tree. Stretching up while at the same time feeling rooted and grounded. And when you're ready, slowly letting the arms come down to the prayer position again. Lowering the right leg. Lowering the arms to your sides and pausing here a moment. Taking a breath. 
and then allowing your weight to shift to your right foot. As you lift the left foot and place it on the inside of the right leg, wherever it will go. Bringing your palms together over your chest. Inviting in the breath. Focusing on one spot of attention in front of you. And when and if you feel stable in the posture, stretching your arms up over the head. Keeping your palms together or opening the arms into a V position. Remembering to breathe. Focus. Balance. Coming into the present in the posture of the tree. And then once again, slowly bringing your hands down to the prayer position in front of your chest. Lowering the left leg. Lowering the arms to each side. Standing in the mountain posture once again. Closing your eyes and feel the effects of having done the tree. Centering your awareness on your breathing and the sense of your body as a whole as you stand here. Standing here in stillness, in a standing meditation. Aware of any thoughts that may be moving through your mind. Aware of sounds. Aware of sensations. Feelings in your body. Just standing here in a state of moment-to-moment -moment awareness. The idea is simply to let all things be exactly as they are. And noticing what is present. Full awareness of the breath and the body standing. Letting your awareness be open and spacious. Taking your time. Congratulating yourself for engaging in this practice of nurturing your mind and body. <laughs>